Okay, let's take a look at a real world application with solving lineage by elimination. Sally spent $14.85 to purchase 13 flowers. She purchased lilies, which cost $1.25 each, and tulips, which cost 90 cents each. So, how many of each flower did she buy? So, let's use the variable L for our lilies and T for tulips. And, and Go ahead and create our system. So we know that she spent a dollar twenty-five for each one of her lilies. So that's one point two five L plus ninety cents each for the tulips. Zero point nine zero T is equal to the fourteen eighty-five. And our second system is also L, which is lilies plus T is equal to 13 so that's our particular system so you notice step one I've aligned everything and I'm looking to see what can I do to get something eliminated so I'm looking at my um, my variable L and I see it's 1.25 and then my variable T is point nine zero so what I need to do is I need to do some math here and determine just by looking and seeing what what can I multiply by okay so let's just go ahead and just do the L so what we want to do is we want to multiply everything by 1.25 okay so that way, once we do so, I'm going to use calculator here, which I will suggest you do. So here, 1.25 times L, and let's make this a negative 1.25. Let's multiply by a negative 1.25. So 1.25 times L is going to give us literally, I think I want to take it over here. So that'll be a negative 1.25L plus a negative 1.25T is equal to, and so we have 13 times 1.25. That's going to give us 16.25, and because because this is a negative, so that's going to make that a negative. Make sure that I did my math right, guys. So we have 1.25 times 14.85. Okay, good deal. So, yep. Yeah. Excuse me, still <laughs> looking at the wrong figures here. So it should be 13 times 1.25. Yep, 16.25, and that's a negative. 16.25, I was right the first time. I was sitting there, I was second guess yourself. Okay, so, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this particular formula over, which will give us 1.25L plus 0 0.90 T and that's going to equal to 14.85 okay so now we look at step 2 which tells us to add these together so 1.25 and a negative 1.25 is going to give us 0 so that's 0 plus and then we have 0.9 from 1.25 that's going to give us 0.35t and let's understand that that is a negative okay because subtracting uh, the smaller absolute value from the larger we use a sign of the larger which is going to give us T and then this is going to be 1625 minus 
1485 because that's the small absolute value and that's going to give us negative 1.4 okay so 0 is 0 so that leaves us with a negative 0.35t is equal to a negative 1.4 so we're going to divide both sides by a negative 0.35 both sides okay so divided by a negative 35 and that's going to give us t is equal to 4 okay great so we see she bought at this price already she bought four tulips okay so now all we need to do is substitute t back in uh, again for either one of the equations I'm I'm gonna use the second one it's just easier to deal with so I'm using the original L plus t is equal to 13 so let me change this so I'm going to use the equation L plus T is equal to 13. L we still don't know. Plus we said T was 4 is equal to 13. Okay. So we want to subtract 4 from both sides so we can get L by itself. Alright. So that's L plus Four minus four is equal to thirteen minus four. Okay, so that gives us zero. So that'll give us L is equal to, and of course, that's nine. So all we need to do now is go back and and write our ordered pair, which is step four. So our ordered pair would be. T comma L which is going to equal to 4 comma 9 okay alrighty doing good moving right along with this so go ahead and change my colors back so now I need to check it okay so what I'm going to do use to check it, I'm going to check both equations. So again, I'm going to use the very first one, uh, the second one actually, because it's easy to get, get. So we have checking with L plus T is equal to 13. And of course, our L is 9. 9 plus and tulips is 4 is equal to 13. So of course, 13 is equal to 13. Okay, that checks out so far. Now let's take the very first equation and we can go back up and see that that equation says 1.25L. So that'll be 1.25 and that's time our lilies which is 9 plus 0 0.904 should equal to 1485 okay so let's do the math so we have 1.25 times 9 and that's going to equal to 11.25 plus and then we have 0 0.9 times 4 that's going to give us 3.60 okay and that should equal to 14.85 and then when we add 0 and 5 6 and 2 is 8 and 3 and 1 indeed 14.85 equals to 14.85 so of course that's checked so let's go back and see what the question is asking us since we did all this outstanding math how many of each flower did she purchase so I just like it. I think it's a good deal, guys. If we if we uh if we remember 
to uh, cap these things off with good sentences or whatever. So we can say, according to what they're asking us, how many of each did she, how many of each did she purchase? So we can easily say, Sally purchase. She purchased nine lilies and four tools. Okay, that's what is asked. That's what we've given. So again, you know, the biggest, the biggest uh, concern is being able to read the problem and determine what the problem is asking us to do and then create our system and once we create our system then we just uh, since we can look at the system and see that we cannot add them together without getting uh, an opposite uh, variable coefficient for, for, for one of the variables and then you just find what that is do your multiplication and then uh, add and from from there uh, solve for one, go back and, and put it back in, solve for the other one, come up with your ordered pair, and then write a good sentence saying what's going on. It's it's just it's really, 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 you know, in a simplified state, we just make sure that we need to dot all the I's and cross all the T's, and we will be in great, 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 great shape for this. Remember, um, just make sure that you understand what the problem is asking, and put those into words, and we should be fine. See you soon.